thank you, all of you, for being here today. And we stepped out in the middle of this hearing on this, uh, this convention on the rights of persons with disabilities. I'm honored to be uh, joining with Senator John McCain in an effort to bring this matter before the Senate as quickly as possible. Uh, we have an opportunity <clears throat> to con conclude the hearing today and then to move it into a markup soon uh, and to the Senate floor before the end of the year. Let me tell you why this is important. This is an opportunity for the United States to take its world leadership when it comes to helping with people, uh, people with disabilities and to use that leadership to make a better life, not just for the disabled around the world, but even for those disabled in America. There are 54 million Americans with disabilities, and they have been benefited by the Americans with Disabilities Act. There are another 650 million disabled around the world. What we need to do is to take the gold standard of the protecting the rights of the disabled in America and make it a global standard. That's our goal. We are joined today by veterans organizations because to an organization, they support this effort. They understand that the men and women who served our country risked life and limb and in many cases came back with these disabilities want to have the same protections and opportunities as they travel around the world. We also have the support of about 165 different organizations, including the major disability organizations. They understand as we prepare to celebrate the 22nd anniversary of the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act that this is our chance to join over 115 nations around the world in ratifying uh, this uh, treaty uh, in the United States Senate. There's a special moment here for the Senate, and Senator McCain is uh, going to speak to it here. He couldn't be with us today in person, but he was certainly at our hearing in spirit. We do this, make this effort, in the memory of one of our former colleagues who strongly supports us, and that's Senator Bob Dole. Were it not for Bob Dole's leadership, teamed up with uh, Tom Harkin of Iowa, the Americans with Disabilities Act might never have become law, but it did. And for 22 years, their teamwork, their bipartisan teamwork on behalf of the disabled has paid off for America. Now we want to take that leadership on a global basis. I want to thank all those who are here from veterans organizations and disabled organizations who come together to join us in this effort today. What we are seeking to do is to make certain that our co-workers, our friends, our families, our courageous veterans will soon enjoy the same access and opportunity when they travel abroad that they've come to expect right here in America. Thank you, Senator Durbin. Um, I'm here today representing the United States International Council on Disabilities, which is an umbrella organization of hundreds of organizations of people with disabilities throughout the United States. We're here today to call upon our colleagues in the Senate to do the right thing and to ratify this treaty. When I travel all around the world, my colleagues <clears throat> with uh, disabilities routinely ask me why the United States has not yet ratified. They know that we have led the world. They know that we inspired this important treaty and they wonder where we are. It is time for our country to step forward and resume that important role of leadership. What we have to offer the rest of the world in terms of helping to implement this treaty is very, very important. And without having ratified, we're denied the opportunity for many important uh, participation in many more important tables. I'm reminded right near the anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act of my colleague Justin Dart, Jr. Many people here remember Justin, uh, a tireless leader, walking the halls of Congress with his cowboy hat. During the period when we advocated for the ADA, we had a slogan. It said, ADA, America wins. We're here today to say, CRPD, America wins. CRPD, the world wins. Justin often said to us, the world is watching. Failure is not an option. And I think this bipartisan spirit that is here today reminds us all that when people come together around a common cause with a common conviction that human rights are all American, that we can do 
what others say we cannot do. I think many people doubted whether we'd be here today for this hearing. I have to tell you the disability community did not doubt because we understand how important this treaty is for the one billion citizens throughout the world who live with disabilities. And in our country today, those numbers are increasing as of the baby boomers age into their disabilities. So for those of us who want to travel, live, work, and study abroad, this is a very personal thing. I have many friends who've tried to go on trips across the world and get halfway there and are told that they can't continue on the second leg of their trip because they can't bring their seeing eye dog on the airplane. It's time for that kind of discrimination to end and this treaty is a very, very important step along that journey. I want to thank Senator Durbin, Senator McCain, and all of the other leads who've stepped forward today. We've just come from the hearing. It was very powerful. And I'm very, very confident that we're going to move forward in time for the 88th anniversary and celebrate yet another important victory on behalf of so many Americans and people with disabilities around the world. Thank you.